guys, DQ here, and welcome to another episode of The Walking Dead uh, 400 Days. Uh, we just finished up with Vince, and now we're going to go to the next person, which is Sheila. Or Sheil? Something like that. So here we go. Wait. So what is this heard? Sounded like it. Wasn't sure. Shield, 236 days in. Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this? What do you think that does to a kid? Um, I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I want her to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. All right. Cool. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? Um. Sounds like a good, that good, good sounds idea. That like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman. You've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Cool. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Okay, so we have the knives Eesh, right here. These knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you going to find out? Yeah, in a sec. Okay. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Okay, there's something oh, here. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, yes, not they as did. many dead visitors back then. Yep. Uh, what's this? Looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. So he's like painting stuff. Okay. Let's head on in here. Oh, we have a door. Um, coffee maker. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Whew. What's this? We have a soda machine. This hasn't worked in a long time. Smells good. Not sure how that uh, pot's being like. How are they cooking with this? Because obviously there's no power. Unless they hit like, the gas burners on fire, that could be the reason. Glad we could, got to bottle be the, our water be before thing. it ran out. Alright, uh, shelf. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Alright, let's go check out this garden. Oh, you scared me! He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. Oh, 
not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. Oh, this is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Okay. Let's go check this one out over here. Like eating a stuffed animal or something. Uh, let's just check, take a closer, closer look. Ugh. It's like a puppy or something, or some dog. I think we're down out here. I don't see anything else. Okay, yep, we're, we don't have anything else out here, I believe. Unless we can find Roman again. Nope, there's nothing out here. Let's go back inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But what if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. Gross. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Yes, Maybe it does. Maybe Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca... Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Alright, let's check this out. Come here, everyone. Shit, come on, we gotta find Roman. Alright, what's going on? This moth. It's so can't be bad. Jeez. Largum. My God, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know, and I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. The second it's break like in we've had in the Mexican. last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him but on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. Yeah, we don't know that. You don't know that. It does make sense, though. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. And the last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. You guys remember not Vernon? He was a doctor in the uh, city. I was I right believe. there with you when we jumped that woman and her boyfriend for their boat. That was wrong. 
that's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Alright, we're gonna have we to all like, know get what rid we're of him, talking I guess. About here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's gotta be one or the other. Yep. <laughs> We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, boy, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? See, if we let him go, more people are probably gonna die, so I think we're gonna do that. We can't take the risk. We kill him. There's got to be another way. Tell me, what if he comes back? With weapons, or, or a gang? Is it worth losing any one of us? Jesus, there really is no other choice, is there? We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. Miss Martin. If there's even a so chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. And she's gonna see that because she became messed up. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. 259 days later. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Um. Go fish. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Looks like she is. Ah. <sighs> Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Okay. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. What was that all about? Um... Worry about Probably it. nothing. Don't worry about it. He said it was important. Yeah, well... These days everything's important to Roman. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Okay. Uh, talk to Boyd. Hey. Shell. It's Stephanie. What? Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal. They said she was trying to escape. They actually used that word. Escape. Boyd, calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. <sighs> now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just don't do anything stupid. Alright, we're gonna have to go keep on going. 
I don't think we'll bother talking to her. I think that's probably where they're locked up, so, uh, let's skip on past Roman? that. Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Um... Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. It matters to me. The last time we did this, we agreed that next time it'd fall to someone else. I'm asking you to do it. <sighs> Let's talk to her. Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. We give her a second chance. She might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Alright. See what's gonna happen here. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? Alright, let's do this. What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Um... She's just, just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Yep. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. Alright. Uh, oh. Let's click this. And let's get the gun. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Alright. Fine. Just let Go her do ahead. it. She already has a messed up life, so we may as well just mess it up further, I guess. No! Roman said he wants you to do it. I'll do it when it's my turn. This really sucks. <sighs> yeah, it does. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. Don't know about that. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Shell, it's time. All right, just for taking the gun. I don't ever want to put you in danger. If that means this is what we have to become, then it is what it is. Guess that's what we have to do then. I'm not going to run because. Running away from the problem isn't really going to help us in the long run. Just running away from your issues. Got to deal with them up front. Hmm. 
sorry. Me too. I don't know this definitely, so can't say much about it, I guess, but we'll find soon enough, I suppose. Find out soon enough. So that ends off this episode, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hit, uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, goodbye.